Hey everyone, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games on February the 17th, 2015. Uh, almost Chinese New Year here in China, so for the next week I'm going to be here again in uh, my wife's hometown. Uh, this was, it's kind of strange being back here for a, sort of like a, a week stretch because uh, I was here for, I think I lived here for roughly six months, maybe, uh, when was it? I think... Um, from sort of late 2013 to around April 2014 and it's very strange to be back because it, it, it's the, the the time seemed to go so fast um, while I was here and I think maybe a few of you remember the videos that I was doing here I was wearing the same coat as well and um, yeah it's just really strange to be back anyway uh, right now this video is uh, just a uh, how can we say a daily statistics check video that I do pretty much every day when whenever I sort of wake up and log in uh, and what it is is I'm just going to go through the revenue and look at some stats and some download stats and share with you guys on the channel so I thought it'd be an interesting uh, thing a few of you mentioned that you liked seeing the um, the revenue videos and uh, you like sort of how open and, and honest it is and so on uh, so I thought great well let's do one I, I didn't I haven't done one since uh, maybe I think a week ago I did my last one uh, or a few days ago I think a few days ago uh, so let's just jump in anyway the, usually the first one that I check is chart boost uh, I'll just do a quick refresh on this one uh, I'm still using the the earlier chart boost uh, website version if you're not sure how to do it uh, you can go to v3.chartboost.com uh, and that'll log you into the old site because the new one they don't show the charts on it um, and that was a problem and I think someone mentioned on the forum this is how you access it so uh, whoever it was you know big thanks for that man it's uh, it's great to access the old version of chart boost because this is how I usually check the uh, how I usually grade you know how we're doing in terms of revenue or downloads is because most of the games have chart boost in so this is the best charts because it's it's really quick and easy just to see how everything is going and uh, I can sort of like draw like a little bit of a line across the screen and I can see oh we're, we're up compared to last week or we're down compared to last month or whatever so uh, yesterday the 16th uh, was a Monday and we had a really good Monday which was uh, which was great to see because this past few days this week before was was ultra low so um, yesterday um, uh, what did we make? It was a uh, on char boost was one hundred and two dollars, but you can see like the week before uh, was was really long. We actually had our lowest day ever. I think was there fifty five, uh, or oh, forty nine was was the lowest one ever um, in sort of like a year or something like that. So it's nice to see like a, an increase there. So one hundred and two on a Monday, which is good. Uh, if I compare that to the uh, previous Mondays, so it was the 16th, the 9th and the 2nd was the previous Mondays. And this is usually how I do a, um, like a daily check to see oh, if we're, we're up or down or if the week's good or bad or whatever. So I'll just look, say it's the 16th there and it's 4,200 downloads. Uh, the 9th uh, was the previous Monday, so 3,090. So a big increase there, so over 1,000. Uh, previous one was the 2nd, so 3,600 was that and we were on... So, you know, roughly like a, a 600 download increase. Uh, and I think probably the 26th was the previous Monday. I'll take a look. Yeah, 26th. Uh, and that was 3,900. Uh, and so we're beating that around by around 300. Uh, and revenue-wise, yeah, 102 we made yesterday. Our 68 uh, the Monday before, so a big increase. Um and the uh, week before that was fifty dollars, which is like you know we doubled that on a Monday. Mondays are strange. I don't know what happens on Mondays. Sometimes they sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're awful. Usually Mondays are much better than Tuesdays, as you can see here. I'm highlighting on the nineteenth of, of January. Uh, the Monday isn't as bad as Tuesdays. Tuesdays it drops, and it's probably because uh, chart boost um, the the install stats are delayed until Monday. So you might have a lot of downloads on Sunday. But they might only update on um, uh, on Monday, or it could be the time zones. You know what I mean? Maybe some people are still on Sunday uh, around the world somewhere, and then Chart Boost is set to US time, and then it updates or something like that. So Mondays are usually a little bit better, uh, but not last week. No, that was that was horrible. That dropped like uh, dropped like an anvil. So uh, also the one that I usually look up as well is Boot Ops. Uh, boot Ops is a good sign of how healthy a game is in terms of. Uh, 
um, replayability or how many times the user is coming back into the game. So I check that out as well, usually. Um, so even if, um, uh, excuse me, even if the downloads are not very high, uh, the boot ups could be good, uh, which is a great sign that you've got a good game or you know your game's interesting and players are liking it and they're coming back to the game. So this is good to see here. You can see the previous, um, uh, we have 18,300 about boot ups uh, on the 9th, which was the week before, it's 13,000. Uh, the second was only 14,000, uh, a week before was 13,000, almost 14,000, uh, but we've had 18,300 boot-ups, which is great to see. So yeah, Mondays, sometimes, you know, it, it's strange. I think the Friday was low. Um, if I go to, what are we on now? Um, uh, da, da, da. The 14th, the Saturday, was Valentine's Day, and I think that had a, a bit of an effect uh, in terms of not having great downloads and not having like a uh, making a, a huge amount of revenue, you can see there the Saturday was a, was was low compared to like the previous Saturday. Uh, only five thousand downloads, six thousand there, five thousand nine hundred. Um, you can see late January was good. February is not so good, probably because everybody's back in work or school or whatever uh, at that point. So uh, let's take a look at some of the games. So the ones that we're watching right now are uh, You Escape Sometimes Two and Playcade. Uh, and the reason is because those, are, as I've mentioned, those are the major games. So I'm sort of watching those a little more closely than than um, uh, than all the other games that we have at the moment. So uh, Playcade on Amazon did pretty good on Monday, which it um, it had only had 98 downloads, not huge, but the number of boot ups is what I'm I'm very interested in at the moment. So this is a great spike here. Um, a nine, so we're looking like 11 or 12 times, four, uh, 14 times the number of boot ups compared to um, uh, install. So, one to 14 ratio, which is great. Only made a dollar 55 though on chart boost, but that goes up and down all the time. Um, there you can see, look, we've got some nice big spikes and chart boost there for Playcade. Uh, it does have Amazon ads in the game as well, so it makes revenue that way and in app purchases. So, but that's a great spike to see. The reason that we got this spike here is because I, I think um, this past few days uh, we did some screenshot updates, um, particularly on Google Play and Amazon. And I think I can show you them. So these are, yeah, these are the screenshots here. So a new icon uh, and a bunch of new screenshots for Playcade showing all the different games. Uh, that's great to see because it means that perhaps we're catching a different type of user now and those users are enjoying the game more or we're finding users that are they like bike games they like the uh, the bike game inside of Playcade so that's that's a cool spike to see we'll see if that continues as well I don't know it could go up it could go down uh, but even I mean the weeks before you can see we have only 50 installs there but 700 boot ups uh, there was 70 and 700 uh, 650 that was 64 and 516 so you can see that the, the boot ups compared to the installs is pretty good so um, sorry, but just give me a minute. I'm just doing a video. Did you clean the table? Yes, I did. Uh, Playcade on Google. So the past few days, uh, I've been trying really hard to do some SEO, uh, deep dive SEO on Google Play for Playcade. It's not been finished yet at all, and, and the installs in Google are terrible for Playcade. As you can see yesterday there, we only had 13. Uh, but I did start the new SEO here on around the 13th, and it did go up a little bit, including the revenue as well. And also, it looks like the boot ups are having more of an impact there, probably because the types of players that I'm trying to find now with the new SEO, they're liking the bike game that we have inside of Playcade, uh, probably also the car racing game as well. So, uh, still very low. I only have a thousand characters in Google Play at the moment, um, so I really need to. Uh, do that. The Google SEO that I'm doing right now, I'll, I'll probably do a separate video on that later, but it really takes a long time. Finding searches that are not uh, fully populated, not super competitive, is very, very hard. And it's I must have put in maybe six or seven full hours already in the past three days. Uh, that doesn't sound like a lot, but six or seven hours of just solid SEO, keyword searching, updating the description, um, uh, checking how many uh, how many results appear for a particular search and so on, and then looking to make sure that it actually appears after it's after the update is done. Uh, it does take a long time, so I'm focusing in on that right now because play Placade downloads have been absolutely awful. 
Uh, so if you guys are watching, if you like this video, if you're interested, please find Playcade uh, in Google Play or Amazon or iOS. And please download and give us a big five stars. That would be awesome. Um, so yeah, the other one that we're looking at right now is You Escape Sometimes 2. I'll jump onto Amazon. Um, and as I said, guys, I'm... This is this is um, like a daily check that I do, and I'm just talking through it as I do it. I'm not, um, like I said, this isn't a tutorial or, or a topic specifically. It's just what I do every day, and I thought it'd be interesting. So uh, yesterday on Amazon, again, uh, a Monday, an increase. So if anybody knows if there's a sort of a holiday or something, um, uh, UK or US side, that might be why the increase happened. Uh, 201... Uh, downloads and it made $17 in one day uh, on USCAPE sometimes too so that's great to see it's had the most consistent revenue so far as well uh, a bit of a jump there obviously in January during the uh, more of the holiday season um, but this is great to see the boot ups as well are good compared to the installs so with 200 installs um, I had 1365 boot ups so that's roughly what a six times uh, boot up ratio one to six ratio uh, that was 100 installs and 943 uh, boot ups, so roughly nine times uh, one to nine ratio. And so, yeah, r roughly the same there. And that's what we want to see. I want to see that, that sort of um, uh, the boot up curve increasing compared to the install curve. So, and let's see it on, uh, on Google as well. Let's take a quick look at this. So, so far, it's looking, it's looking like it was a good Monday. Uh, <laughs> And you can see this is sort of like a graph of my emotions as well. Uh, if, if it's down, I'm down. If it's up, I'm up. It shouldn't. It shouldn't really affect me that much, and it affects me less now than it did, um, say, a year ago. Because I'm used to the up and downs now. It's just just uh, how the market goes. Uh, so a little bit of an increase there. 14 downloads on Google Play. Again, Google Play is really hard to get downloads. So later, I have to do a, a real deep dive SEO on you escape sometimes too for. Um, Google Play as well. So I'll be doing that and I'll probably do a separate video. Uh, no revenue yesterday though, as you can see, the revenue is just ultra low on Google Play for this game. So, but anyway, so that, that just gives me a brief overview, uh, chart boost. Usually that's the main one that I look at to see if we're, if, if how, how downloads are doing. We don't have chart boost in every single game that we've published, but they're in most games uh, since roughly like a year and a half ago. So it's, it's a good measurement. Uh, App Loving is good as well. Uh, yesterday made uh, $42. I usually check the impressions on App Loving as well, and that's a good indicator uh, to see if the um, to see if there's been more activity in our games this past few days or not. As you can see, there are 5,600 uh, or 5,700 impressions uh, compared to the previous Monday, which was only 3,000. The Monday before, 3,800. The Monday before, 3,200. So I don't know what happened. Um, I don't really know what happened. The Sunday was good as well, you see. Uh, we had a good Sunday compared to the previous Sundays. So, uh, But that's good. Uh, Apple Living is good. Uh, they, they seem to be a, a pretty steady revenue stream for us. Uh, you know, varies from sort of 20 to 40 or 20 to $50 each day. Uh, and that's pretty good. And that, that's for a small indie developer to get between 20 and $50 extra each day um, is great. So uh, AdMob. Ad <laughs> the uh, I'm trying to think of a phrase of what to call AdMob, but um, uh, so yeah, but AdMob basically had, um, uh, has dropped a lot. It was making a hundred dollars like a year or two ago, and now it's like eight pounds seventy four. Uh, if I change it to USD, you guys can see it's probably around thirteen, fourteen dollars, something like that. Yeah, so thirteen forty five. Uh, these are only banner ads right now for AdMob. Uh, I usually only check the revenue quickly in AdMob. The main ones that I focus on, like I say, are chart boost and app loving at the moment. Uh, Startup only has uh, a few games um, that we're using Startup on, and one of them is Sniper XXX. Uh, and again, not a lot of activity, but $2, 2 10 so not a huge thing anyway. But I usually take a quick look at Startup as well. Uh, and then the last one that I look at is usually the in-app purchases on Amazon. Uh, the good thing is recently that Playcade and You Escape Sometimes 2 have gotten a few more in-app purchases every week. Not a huge number at all, but 
it's great to see that we're starting to get more in-app purchases because we're putting a lot more time and effort into those games. Um, so I think there you can see, um, let's take a look at, uh, da, da, da. Uh, you escape sometimes too. I think Playcade had a few more installs, so, um, but there are all three, three install, uh, three, three in-app purchases and 2,300 downloads. So very, very small. Obviously the in-app purchase rate is not high uh, with that one at all. But that in-app purchase rate is like much better than a lot of the other games that we have. So we're heading in the right direction is, is sort of the main thing to focus on. Um, Playcade, let's show you guys quickly. So a little bit better actually, yeah, 1,200 downloads and five uh, in-app purchases. So that's a little bit better uh, than, uh, than you escape sometimes too. Uh, revenue wise again not huge for in-app purchases four dollars and three three pounds thirty which is around five dollars so about nine dollars altogether uh, ad revenue is still the biggest one for us in terms of revenue uh, it's it's much 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 bigger as in-app purchases uh, as you can see um, but we're now doing the rewarded ad videos in the games so we're gonna see how that goes uh, hopefully we'll see a boost in in uh, revenue that way because getting the in-app purchases, getting players to pay real money for a game is very, very hard. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you um, and just go through it. I thought I'd make a quick video. Let me know if this was interesting or not. Let me know if there's something that you'd specifically like me to talk about. Uh, I know that you guys enjoyed the, um, uh, some of you mentioned that you enjoyed the, uh, how do you say, the reply video that I did. Uh, last week as well, so I'll do more of those for sure if you enjoyed them, uh, guys. If you're on, uh, if you see this on YouTube, then please please come to howtomakemobilegames.com. Uh, I'm answering like not all of the questions, but I'm far more active on the website howtomakemobilegames.com than on YouTube. I'm not replying to comments on YouTube anymore just because of time, uh, but you can catch me with any questions and comments on the forum for sure. I post all the videos on there, so if you just go to Martin's Dev or Blog section. Um, uh, sorry, Martin's video on blog section, and you'll see this video at the top there. Uh, but please like this video, guys. Please subscribe. Thank you for all the support. Uh, I need to sort of wake up and maybe try and find some coffee and uh, get a lot of work done today because there is a huge list of things I've got to go through. So anyway, take care, guys. Have a good one, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.